Hello, I'm Mike. I'm Melba. And we're the Comances. At Roadmaps and Chaos. Today, we're here at the Arm Air Force Armament Museum. Down here on Eglin Air Force Base in Okaloosa County, nice. south of Baker, Florida. This is a suburb of Baker, Florida down here. So uh, we down here to look at some planes and stuff. We'll show you a little bit about it. Make sure to like and, and smash, smash that subscribe button. Just a shot in there, some of the array of weaponry that we've had over the years. And there lays a Tommy Hawk missile. General Dynamics, right there. At a speed of 533 miles, a range of 1,550 miles. Just a general purpose bomb. And right there, it's got them hooks. They hooked that on that plane, and when I showed you, when I looked at the bottom, I said it was where they loaded bombs. They hooked it on them hooks right there, and then they just released it. From up the country. UH. Air Coys. Bell UH-1 series. Better known as the Huey. Seen, some, seen a bunch of them in my time. Speed 144 mile an hour. Range 300 miles, 18,000 feet option. The backbone of the Vietnam War. That one? No, no that's a trainer. They, they normally them are dark green, baby. Them, them orange ones up at Fort Brooker. Larry Rayburn. I can't remember the Adams boy's name. He was a hero in one of them. I think it was Glenda's. Glenda Adams' his brother. God, I can't think of his name. See his face right now? Know him pretty good. He was a hero in one of them. Larry Raven died in one of them. Tied in, football, graduated with him. Good boy. Missed the good parts of life. Congress, up them military appropriations. I didn't want to go to war with nothing less than the best. I don't want your sons and daughters or my sons and granddaughters, my grandsons and granddaughters going to war with less than the best. Hey, let's get them what they need. Don't matter how much it costs. That's one place I don't mind Congress spending money and I don't think we spend enough. We should not ask our young men and young women to go to war with anything less than the best that we can provide. And we need to sacrifice to provide them what they need. trainer. Good trainer. Range a thousand miles. That was considered a trainer.
F84 Thunderstreak. Base missile designed to be hauled. 1200 of them was built, solid fuel rocket bus booster. A range of 1400 miles, 40,000 feet. Could be put with a conventional all warhead, either one right there. Problem with it, they said the guidance system could be jammed. Mom out here getting her pictures. Mom out here getting her pictures. F 86 Sabre. Sweat wing. And wings go back. This jet, uh, Captain Joseph McConnell, had 16 MiG kills in Korean War in this jet right here. Air to guidance was the first one to carry the huge Falcon air to guided missile, air to air guided missile. F 100 Super Saber. First production aircraft capable of flying faster than the speed of sound, Mach 1. About that. It could get up and get. Major Bud Day on the cockpit up there. Long range bomber escort. JF 101B Voodoo. Retired in 86. Had a, a record for from Los Angeles to New York, six hours and 46 minutes. Now that's getting it. Six hours and 46 minutes. F 104D Starfighter. Supersonic. Superior fighter. Six barrel Vulcan cannon. Day nine interceptor. F-104 saw combat during the Vietnam War. Starfighter. That's a sleek little old bird right there now. A small plane. Some big wings right there. Get again. B 47B Strato Jet. Big outfit. Big outfit. Bicycle arrangement landing gear because of the thin wings. 
See that pedestal out there holding the wing up? Almost five, like 10 miles being 5,000 mile range. I could get on up and get somewhere. 4C Phantom. Cameron Bay. 5,000 have been built. This is a, sort of a Navy plane. Hmm. Let's see, where did I read? Where, let's see. Could carry twice the bomb load of a B-17, World War II B-17. That's L-4. Right there. Good looking plane. Two way Skymaster. With loudspeakers and drop pamphlets and do whatever it had to do. Flew over the Ho Chi Minh Trail. Designed to fly at night. It's reading this black. front and rear two-man operation limited firepower limited firepower danger prop two-man operation right there MiG-21 Soviet plane the only plane that's been better than it has been a C-130. 30 countries use this, even some of our friends. Big. 24F-13 fish bed. Russian plane. Been a good one. But we can still get it. We down here in the EOD section. These are bombs. They find these bombs, they have to disarm them and everything. That's a general purpose bomb right, bomb right there. They drop these things on Eglin. These are EOD men. And I think that's a robot, or maybe that's a tank they drive up there and detonate bombs in or something. I don't see that. Air bomb. That's an EOD vehicle right there. I don't know what it's used for. I'm going to walk up there and look at it. There's an EOD man in a bomb suit. These are just different bombs. Styles have been worked on. vehicle manufacturer to go up and look at a different thing get up close highly armored I still wouldn't want to be in it though I don't think <laughs> they're just going out and looking around this is a bomb suit them boys get up stuff on Gutsy feller put one of them on, walked up to a bomb and disarm it. You hear me? That's like getting in one of them diving, so old timey diving suits. You gotta be a gutsy feller to trust that cloth. Unmanned air, aerial vehicle. First one, the for the Army. The one MQM 105 Aquila. It was toted by four different soldiers. And it was built where you could uh, tote it in, put it up to fly it. One. Yeah. You got 
Let's see these boys. They toted that thing in pieces, put her together, and flew that aerial. That's the first, that's the first video warrior game right there that the Army bought. I need. Neat. Neat, 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 neat. <laughs> I've really enjoyed this trip around the Auto Museum. And I wish that we could have. I wish that we could have. Got inside and looked at some of that stuff on the inside. They got some small planes and stuff inside there. It would have been fun to get in there and see that. That's basically the end of our tour. Uh, we're having a good time. Here come mama. Here come mama. Here come the prettiest woman in the world. Huh? Call if we can. My back is killing me. It's still? No, not sitting on this. Not sitting on that? Not sitting on that. People, it's, people's got here. We got here, they wasn't a soul here. We're right here in the parking lot by ourselves. But we got a few people touring it. Hello, I'm Mike. I'm Melba. And we're the Colmetses. At Roadmaps and Chaos. Be sure to like and subscribe if you like our videos. Thank you. I'm glad I made this journey with you. If you like my papa's channel, Roadmaps and Chaos, make sure to like and, and smash that subscribe, subscribe button. We pray we'll see you in the rapture.